What's good with you? We about to get into some happy cappy energy, you heard? What's good, Capricorn? So Capricorns, cross watches included. And people wanting to know how the Capricorn energy applies to your natal chart or your zodiac chart. You are all welcome. Welcome back. If you've been here before, I appreciate you. Much gratitude for you. Also, if you want to get in contact with me because you feel that we resonate. Or you want to check in with me a little further to see um, if I'm your match. You know what I'm saying? You can also do a chemistry call. Either way, you can access me at the website. If you go into the description box, you will see the link to it. Um, I may cuss, but I don't curse. You know what I'm saying? And with that being said, let's get these cards read. Bars. Four card draw ain't gonna hold long. Pause. And we're doing outcomes. Pause. But that's my intro. Now, what's the situation at hand for the Capricorn energy is this. Bang. What do we have? We have the page of wands in reverse. I don't know why I'm saying it like that. But sometimes when I see royal cards, I think British. And that's probably not a British accent. Or English for that matter. But whatever the fuck it is. We gonna get to it. Um, you're experiencing a lack of energy, but in a department that's fiery. So I feel like I was about to say fashion, passion, but maybe fashion got something to do with it, and that's bars. But bear with me. I'm going somewhere with this. Um, I'm getting also like your inspiration maybe come from digital. How do I say this without like getting canceled? Man, fuck that. Look, your inspiration may come from Instagram models or something like that, or somebody that you're used to seeing a lot every day, and you it could be a, a card reader, you know what I'm saying, that uploads a dude, you know what I'm saying? Whoever. But somebody who appears mostly every day and it like lights your fire. You know what I'm saying? And if you feel deprived of that in any kind of way, it's just like, yo, they took a day off. They took two days off. Like, I'm not feeling that. Where's my bae? Where's my bull? Even if you're delusional about the shit. You understand what I'm saying? It's that type of energy. Like, you feel like that actually gives you energy. It fires you up. It inspires you to go out and do your thing. So I did a read earlier. I forgot which one it was. I think it was Libra. So I was talking about sex workers and how, you know, sometimes it makes people day when... They see a pair of tits in the morning. I'm just keeping it a bean, you know what I'm saying? Or something close enough to it, you know? And it's kind of like that. Like, these are the things that inspires you. And it's been a lack of that lately. And it's kind of, you know, it's putting your fire out. Because that's what makes you feel alive. You know what I'm saying? Call it what you want. If it feels, if it makes you feel younger, whatever. You know what I'm saying? And I hope this ain't got nothing to do with pedophilia either. Because the page is about younger people and I'm not. Look, if that's the shit that you want, just... This reading shit could get heavy sometimes. Anyway, let me draw a card to see what the obstacle is. Got more royalty out here. The Queen of Cups. Hmm. This may be someone that I'm reading for who has mommy issues. And you might be trying to, what's that word? Uh, what's that word, man? I hope it comes to me. Pause. But you may be trying to replace what you were deprived of as a child with what you're doing now. And it may be, it, it might be career related. It might not be. But whatever it is, is it has you daydreaming more than you need to be. Right, has you daydreaming more than you need to be, and you may also be looking into the occult more than you need to be. Somehow, this has become not only that, you may be looking into those things like the occult and using your imagination and stuff like that in order to feed other people with it. You know, so it's not like something that you're just doing for yourself. You're actually looking to be royalty in this area. You're looking to be that guide for other people. And this is an obstacle for you right now. Give me one sec. Sorry. You 
get what I'm saying? This is the obstacle right now, and I'm not, I'm not the one to say if it's right or wrong, or you should be able to be imaginative and go for your dreams and stuff like that. I'm just telling you what the obstacle card is. But this is the action recommended to take because of all of what's going on right now. Major Arcana out here. We got the Judgment card. Hmm. What this is telling me is, let's say because the Queen of Cups is making me be under the impression that you are an authoritative figure when it comes to the occult or things dealing with the imagination, like you have been in, in a position to inspire other people to, to, you know, think about Lord of the Rings, Dungeons and Dragons and, you know. Uh, what's the other one? Harry Potter. And, you know, those types of stories can actually be true. And it's just like, yeah, because you come up with these stories and you you profess them to people and they like, yo, there's something magical about that person. But it's being an obstacle because those people do need to further take a closer look at themselves and ask themselves, is that even something that they can truly see themselves being a part of? Or are they just wasting their time? Let me take a closer look at this card. Because, look, people shouldn't psych themselves out is what I'm getting from this. So the action is, look, this judgment card, there's people freely butt naked. Okay, I'll probably get flagged right now. But there's people butt naked in their little partitions and you know they're rejoicing about the shit the trumpets is blowing and all that which could mean a whole lot of shit too right judgment isn't just gonna have everybody all kumbaya but nonetheless when you are looking to be freed even if you're chained in this type of vein bars you gotta be real with yourself b you can't be looking at the spirit god that's sitting up there in their throne and pretending like you can tap into that imaginative energy, following your dreams, um, decoding your dreams, being into the occult, but you don't want to be freed from the chains. Your everyday activity or your everyday life is something that is bogged down, mundane, and not for nothing. You may not even, like this could be a fantasy watching that person, but nothing that you would ever truly try to embark on. You look at that person as more as entertainment. And I'm talking about the other people that are watching you, Capricorn, or the people that are reading for with Capricorn energy, because the obstacle is you being the Queen of Cups, of being that spiritual type of God. And it's just like some of these people, or some of those people are just playing themselves. They don't really, you're, in, you're their entertainment. And I think that's why that's an obstacle for you, because you dead ass. You dead ass about the shit you saying. This is not for entertainment purposes. But let's see the outcome that's taken if you allow the judgment to take place because that's the recommendation. Allow the judgment to take place and let people sort themselves out. What happens is this. Looks like some prosperity. Well, it allows you to be generous again, but in the in the in a material type of way. And maybe that's just what it is of why being in the spiritual has caused you some, you know, has became an obstacle for you. Maybe it doesn't pay. Or should I say it doesn't pay as good as it could, bars. And it's just like, okay, if that's an obstacle, you're either going to plow through it or you're going to go around it, right? So it looks like to me like you're going to go around it while people are doing these self evals about themselves. And you're going to just be like, yo, if y'all really want to contact me about this spiritual stuff, this occult stuff, y'all are going to do that. But y'all don't need to see me every day y'all, because y'all are taking this shit as a joke. Y'all are entertained by me. Y'all not for real. So I'm going to go around this shit and do some material shit because you can. Or because you love to do it and because you can. And you're going to be prosperous from it. Till next time.